All right, we got one more now. We're going to go actually all the way out to Southern California. We're going out to the 909. I used to live right in between Moreno Valley and Riverside when I was stationed at March Air Force Base. That's currently been realigned now. I think it's a guard base now, but we used to have KC-10 refuelers out there. I was a part of the 722nd Air Refueling Wing, March Air Force Base, California. Shout out to Moreno Valley, Riverside area out there. Beautiful area. I love Southern California. Now, I know the 909 is a little bit bigger than that, so I'm not sure where Efren lives, but he is on the 833 LCN Tips line. Here we go, Efren. You got the final question of the day. Hey, Alan. How you doing? My name is Efren, and I live in Southern California. I type fescue grass, but my question for you is I'm getting a lot of mosquitoes lately, and what I mean is just they're just, I guess, just kind of uh, sitting on top, or I don't know if just just because the moisture i have been uh getting a lot of brown spots on my grass so i've been watering it a little bit more heavily trying to get that about inch and a half of uh, water a week I had to adjust my sprinkler timing to water it more but now that i have been watering it more i've been getting uh, uh less brown spots but i've been getting more mosquitoes i just want to know your opinion and see what you could help me out on that and um see what i could do thank you so much I love your podcast listen all the time as I always say, Efren, great question. I like this one because we're going to think through some things. So this is an interesting one because I used to have problems with mosquitoes in my lawn in Northwest Indiana because my turf type tall fescue was so tall and so thick they would breed in there. And, and even from morning dew, I felt like they were breeding in there because even at times of the year when I wasn't doing any watering, when it was just morning dew or whatever rain we were getting every couple days, I would definitely have mosquito problems in my lawn. I mean bad. Like you could not go outside. Even during the day, they would get you. And so a couple things that I learned there was, number one, I would start mowing a little lower. I always recommend that you guys mow your turf-type tall fescue at the top setting four inches or more. However, one way to control, and I'm going to give you a chemical uh, so solution here in a second, but I always want to try to give you a solution, if I can, that is non-chemical. And one thing you can do is mow your lawn a little bit lower. Now, I don't want you to go crazy with that effort and take it down slow, but maybe try to get it down to three inches. Turf type tall fescue will do fine at three inches. It might take a little bit more care. And on the hottest days and in the hottest parts of the summer, especially in Southern California, you may have to raise it back up or you may have to just let it go dormant, which you might be doing anyway. I'm not sure because I remember in SoCal, we would get days up over 100 degrees, but it's a dry heat, they say. I actually enjoyed it. But either way, you may have to just let it go dormant in the summer. But I would try to go ahead and try to see if you could mow a little bit lower, and that's going to create some airflow that will hope dry some of that water out of there a little bit quicker. That might reduce the problem some. If you do want a chemical control, though, that I would definitely say works, it's available everywhere. It's the Cutter Backyard Bug Control. The It comes in like a hose-in sprayer, and the active ingredient, and I'm not good at saying these, is Lambda Cyhalothrin. Lambda Cyhalothrin. That's the active ingredient. And I have used that. I used to use it in Northwest Indiana. You can get it at Walmart, Target, of course, all the big box stores. Ace will have it. It's everywhere. I'm assuming it's in California, but it works great. Just get out there and hose it down. It's going to last you a couple of months, actually. So that works really well. It's also going to take care of other nuisance pests. And again, they're not a sponsor or anything like that. I'm telling you, this is an easy to get cheap product that works. It's going to take care of other nuisance pests, you know, fleas, ticks, ants, all those kind of things. So it's going to work for a little bit more than that. Read the label. You may be able to find some other uses for it. But Efren, that's what's going to help you to knock down those mosquitoes in your lawn. And again, that's not a product that you're going to have to spray often, maybe a couple times a year at most, because each application lasts up to three months. So I think you'll be pretty good there in most cases. So...